opportunity. Governor Schwarzenegger was born in 1947 in a small village in Austria. As a boy, he excelled in sports, heavily influenced by his strict father, who was the local chief of the police. By age 14, he had chosen bodybuilding as his avocation. Watching the adventures of Steve Reeves and Johnny Weissmuller on the silver screen, the Superman and Tarzan of their time, he was inspired not to just compete, but to succeed as a bodybuilder. And who knows? Perhaps the seed for his later career as a film star was also planted at this time. In 1965, he served his compulsory term in the Austrian army and started competing in bodybuilding contests. At the age of 20, he won the Mr. Universe title, the youngest person to do so. Three more Mr. Universe titles followed. A year later, speaking little English, he moved to California, going on to win the sport's top award, Mr. Olympia. He's the youngest person to win that prestigious award, an honor that stands to this day. And by the way, if that wasn't enough, he was named Mr. Olympia a total of seven times. <laughs> having, dreamed, having dreamed of being a movie actor since he was a teenager, he got his break in the 1970s film Hercules in New York. Conan the Barbarian, Classic. Predator, and the iconic Terminator defined his career. And he added quite a few phrases to the vernacular, such as, lost to the beast of baby. In the mid-1980s, he became interested in politics, serving on various presidential boards focusing on physical fitness. Finally, he famously announced his candidacy for the governorship of California during Jay Leno's Tonight Show. He completed two successful gubernatorial terms and perhaps could have gone all the way to the White House, but for the fact that the U.S. Constitution specifies that only a natural-born U.S. citizen may be president. Governor Schwarzenegger is an environmentalist, a businessman, a philanthropist, and chairman of the Schwarzenegger Institute for State and Global Policy, a think tank he helped found at the University of Southern California. On behalf of the University of Houston faculty, I request that the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, be granted to Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. and with the approval of the University of Houston System Board of Regents now confers upon Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters Honoris Causa with all the rights, honors, and privileges apprenting thereto. Congratulations, Dr. Schwarzenegger. I cannot think of a more emblematic example of the American dream come true. I am honored to welcome you to the Cougar Nation and invite you. commencement address. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. I am now a cougar. Thank you so much for the wonderful introduction, President Couture. It is fantastic to be here today at the University of Houston. And thank you also for the great work that you are doing on behalf of all of those students. Let's give a big, big hand for the wonderful work that your President Couture is doing here at the University. I tell you, when I read your bio, I am so proud of you. What a great immigrant. How many great contributions she makes to this university, to this state, to this country. When I heard that she was the first
first Indian immigrant to lead a comprehensive research university in the United States. I say to myself, I'm going to hit it off really well with you. And the reason is because I love going to places where I'm not the only one in an accent. But seriously, I'm proud to be introduced by a fellow immigrant. The students are very lucky here to have such a fantastic and talented leader. I also want to say thank you to the faculty. You have spent years teaching the students, inspiring them, and occasionally even arguing with them. But none of them will be here without you. So a big hand to the faculty. Finally, I would like to say thank you to the parents and to the families that are here today. You shaped the students from the beginnings of their lives, way before they became proud cougars. You've been there for them at every step of the way, giving them advice, and giving them affection and love, and pushing them along, and probably sometimes even worried about them. But thank you very much for all the great work that you have done. Let's give the parents and the families a big hand. to the students. Now this is a big day for all of you and I know some of you are going to say wait a minute this is our day. Why is Schwarzenegger thanking everyone here in Houston? When is he going to get to us? Well first of all congratulations to all of you. I know that it took a huge vision, great vision and a lot of work and a lot of studying and there's no one they can study for you. You have to do that yourself. So I just want you all to know that I am very, very proud of all of you. Thank you for the great work that you have done.